Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Learn This Lick lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to dive into a drum fill by the great Keith Carlock. This is a signature lick by Keith. If you don't know Keith, he's played with some big-time artists such as Steely Dan and John Mayer and countless others. So if you get something out of this video, please hit that like button. Just go over there and hit it. If you happen to check out some of my other videos and you get something out of those, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's dig in to this amazing drum fill. Okay, now that we've got the music on the screen, let's take a closer look at this fill. So we've got eight 30-second notes per quarter note pulse. And what makes this lick really sound cool is Keith accenting the two single strokes of the paradiddle diddle rudiment that's contained within the drum fill. Now, the other thing that really makes this sound cool is him splitting the accents between two sound sources. So in this case, you have the two bass drums up front, and then the single stroke split between the floor tom and the high tom, and then the diddles all placed on the snare drum. So when we first hear this lick, we're like, wow, that is so cool. But then we're thinking, okay, this sounds really hard. But as you can see, it's a basic rudiment grouped with two bass drum notes in front of it. So what we're going to do now is take you through some exercises that are going to help you learn this. Each exercise is played at a slow tempo and then at a fast tempo. And as always, use the metronome when you're practicing. All right. Let's dive into these exercises. Okay, now that we've got the basic drum fill under control, what I want to do is take you through four variations. Now, keep in mind, you could come up with 30, 40, 50, 100 variations of this lick, but I'm just going to take you through four to give you an idea of what you can do with this. So, let's take a look. Okay, so now I'd like to show you how we can apply this in a real-life musical situation. So what I'm going to do is play a bar of a groove, and then I'm going to play the drum fill. So I'm going to trade back and forth, a bar of a groove and a bar of a drum fill, working on transitioning from the groove to the fill, back to the groove. Let's take a look at this musical application.
All right, and that brings us to the end of today's lesson. I hope you all got something out of that and learned something. Please be on the lookout for the next video. Until then, take it easy.